Howdy chaps and welcome back. Now this is a what to look for when buying an EJEH Holden as far as rust is concerned. This is a bit of a uh, where to look so you don't get burnt. Now off the bat this is my EJ that I'm piecing together out of an absolute mountain of spare parts because I was unsure whether or not I'd had um, a complete car and I'm going to complete this car into 100% complete with all its components and I'm going to make it run and drive as it sits before I pull it apart for resto. I need to make sure I've got a complete car before I start so that's the plan. I am going to make this car move under its own power exactly how it looks. I mean obviously the doors will be in, the seats will be in, you know it'll be complete. So I'm piecing it together slowly but surely bit by bit overnight during the nights. So, starting off, when you're looking for an EJEH Holden, first off, EJs have their own unique grille and bonnets. So, EJs straight off the bat have this big rib that goes down the centre, and a badge on the front, and some chrome that sits above the headlights across the grille. Um, and they have eyebrow moulds, which are super rare if you're buying an EJ make sure it's got them don't buy one without them because it's taken me three years to find one pair um, and normally they're really really expensive ejs actually have evenly spaced grill slats they're all the same whereas ehs every second one is a bit fatter and they have uh, a badge that goes vertical whoops vertical and the word the individual letters of holden are actually in a big long strip that sits across the front and the bonnet is basically like this all the way across it doesn't have the rib down the center and then looking at it EJ's have two separate grills there EH's have one that's your biggest picking point between an EJ and EH ute because both utes have the same EJ rear end in them and EJ's have a fuel flap where EH's just have a cap sitting on the outside so there's another picker not to mention the roofs are different shapes the rear window wraps around on EJ and the H's don't but straight off the bat you will go looking for one of these you will immediately notice probably that all the doors are rusted out very common to see these cars bogged up within an inch of their life like they rust out the top of the guards down the guards the bottom of the guards they rust out the legs of the Y-frame, so this is a fine example, see that one? Gone. They rust out the tops of uh, behind here. You can put your arm up and feel, usually there's a hole under here. They rust out the corners of the winds windscreen dash areas, very common, very, very common. They'll usually rust out the Y-frames pretty good, which are the front areas, like down there's rusted out. So usually the legs rust out on these things. Um, you will occasionally find rust across the firewall. The bonnets rust out like this. I'll shut that. So the doors rust out, pretty common. I'll open this. Uh, they'll rust out the insides, the outsides. They tend to rust out under where the scuff plates go. You will be hard pressed finding an EJH um, that either hasn't had a floor changed or will need a floor done. They rust the floor pans out like you wouldn't believe because the windscreen's leak. Uh, another one to watch out for is if you down the glove box, the plenum chambers rust out real common, real bad. Um, and normally the, you, the glove box doesn't cover it so you can see the one on the passenger side but one on the driver's side you can't see because the instrument cluster is normally in there um, so the plenum chambers rust out the corners of the front of the dash is rust out the seal panels rust out but it's not as common uh, floor pans always rust out it's very uncommon to have rust under that back floor because it's usually covered with the rear seat. This one just happens to be rusted out because of what happened to it. Rear floors rust out. That hole through there, not common. Um, 
but you know, can happen, obviously. I've very rarely seen one to rust out the gutters. Um, must have just been the design, but they don't seem to rust out. I believe it's actually in the manufacturing as to why they don't. Because when they welded these, they were welded with two big rollers that basically did a huge seam along there and there's been there's nowhere for moisture to trap in between spot welds. They also rust out the corners of the back windows. There's water traps here. Um, boot lids on EJ's specifically. They will rust out real, real bad here. Um, very common to find rust in the boot floors. Uh, rear quarters will rust out inside and out. Um, on some cars, the wheel arches will rust out, but occasionally you can come across them where they're not. The dog leg area, which is hidden normally behind a piece of stainless trim that sits there, always rusts out. Um, quite often you'll find that the accelerator pedal mount will be rusted off the floor. So you just have the little twang hanging down there. Uh, another annoying factor is these cars are held together with UNF bolts, which are fine thread, which makes them absolutely a pain to deal with because the threads are so fine, they rust, and you can often strip bolts and wreck them and do all sorts of good stuff. The wiring loom is pretty straightforward. Motors, transmissions usually don't give you much grief. Uh, the diffs are made of glass, but considering the motor's only got about 75 horsepower, you probably won't ever blow it up. Um, it's very common to come across guards that have been bogged up, like what I did to this one. I mean, I'll never ever give this guard to anybody or make them pay for it, but it's just to fill a hole. But watch out for them because they're nearly always bogged up. I mean, always, always. Same with doors. You'll find them, they usually end up with a big smiley face in them. It's just common. So pretty much, if you're looking for an EJ or an EH, expect to find rust and plenty of it. Um, my favourite tow trucky, he calls um, these cars dream crushers because often you'll come across them they'll be sandblasted and there'll be nothing left and you'll just go well that dream's been crushed so yeah I thought this video would be handy for anybody looking to buy an EJ or EH Holden where to look and just to recap we'll go through oh, and add in the beaver panels at the bottom below the bumper always rust out I mean they're very rare they're not so Beaver panels rust out, inside and out. Boot lids go, very common. Boot floors go, lower rear quarters go, check them. Uh, wheel arches go, but rarely, in my opinion. Seal panels can rust out quite easily. You'll get, quite often there'll be rust in behind these channels where the scuff plates go that trap moisture. The floor pans usually rust out very good because if they've had a vinyl floor in them, the moisture traps beautifully between them and rusts the floor floor pan out not like it's nobody's business. Carpet doesn't do it as much because the moisture traps into the carpet, but it'll still rust them out, no worries. Um, plenum chambers. Roof's not too bad. I think EHs you might find a bit of gutter rust because they have a bit of a, a different shape through here. Uh, EJs rust out the rear windows. EHs seem to just rust out the bottom channel. But EJs will get a big hole through here. Um, they all make that same exact noise when you open the doors. It'll be a squeal. Almost impossible to remove that noise. Um, so plenum chambers rust out real bad. Uh, corners of the dashes always rust out. Guards will be gone. Um, the Y-frame legs tend to rust out pretty good. Um, inside and outside legs you'll probably very rarely ever get those bolts out if they've been in there a long time they usually always snap or rust away the inner legs that are on the firewall front um, that the inner legs bolt to that actually tends to rust out quite often um, front grills don't really get any rust because they're just a big open piece but you'll find the lowers get really hammered 
um, bonnets go just like that one and um, that's pretty much it pretty much every panel gets rust but the main areas to watch out for are the floor pans the wireframe legs the plenum chamber because they're some of the hardest ones to fix um, floor pans they always go and you can look from underneath and they'll look fine you look from the top and they'll be gone so just things to watch out for but yes pretty much with my and then ending that this car I'm piecing together to a complete 100% complete drivable wreck of a car basically that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to complete one car with all the spares I've got I've got 13 doors I've got a really good bonnet that's my really good boot lid I'm gonna put two new guards on it when it's done because you can buy them brand new out of steel and they're really good uh, I'm gonna keep that lower through there but I've got a, a much better top that I'm gonna put in um, I've also been running a tap and die through every bolt hole you could think of and all the bolts so that all the bolts are good because it's all good and well having parts but you ain't got no bolts you ain't gonna put, put something together and for some bizarre reason I don't know how this is possible but I've only got one of these little rubber inserts and I don't know how I've managed to lose three of them well actually probably eight of them because I had more than that but I've lost them all um, so yeah also uh, we're going to show you some stupid stuff if I go over here oh that's an EH wheel Okay, so straight off the bat, um, Tirana wheels, which is what that is, that's a widened Tirana wheel. They share the same side button as an old Holden. So, Tirana wheels bolt straight onto an old Holden, and old Holden wheels bolt straight onto a Tirana. So this is actually a HR wheel. Um, it's got raised nubs here, and you need these rims if you're gonna put a disc brake front end on an old Holden. Uh, because they're designed to be able to go around them Whereas if we go over here, this is actually an EJ wheel Or EH wheel or earlier earlier Holden They're like a triangle and they're flat through here So they're the correct style for this car the HD HR ones changed So after EH Holden they went to HD Which is a bit of an ugly duckling, but you know, they're an acquired taste same with EJs, not many people liked them, but actually really, oddly enough, the EJs were the parts cars for EHs, and now there's so few EJs left that they're actually rarer than EHs and more valuable, despite what people think. I also think they're a much prettier car. Um, the EJs share the same front bars as EHs, and that lower panel, the top grille is different. They share the same basic guards, but all the bolt, all the screw holes are in different spots. Uh, same front doors, but different door moulds. Same rear doors, but the drill, the uh, stainless moulding holes are in different spots because the trim kicks down on EJ. Uh, different rear window, different boot lid. At a quick glance, you'd say the same rear bar, but it is not. EJs have two nubs, two bolts. EHs only have one. And an EH rear end is actually wider than an EJ. So this midsection is narrower on an EJ. So yes, you can put these ends on an EH, but you'd have to weld up one of those holes to make it official. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much an EJ EH rundown. And I think this video would serve to help people. Also, on the trim here for EH and EJ's. EJ's has lock off on start. Uh, EH it actually has accessory function so you can turn the key back that way um, which is a little unknown fact. So um, oh and another thing that rusts out just quickly is the scuff plates because they're steel and they're not coated they're just steel. I think they might be galvanized once upon a time but that was a long time ago. Um, so they rust out quite good but yeah hope you enjoyed this little uh, how-to and what to look for when buying one of these cars and watch out for unscrupulous characters who will sell you a bogged up pile of junk um, because it's 
it does happen. Um, it tends to actually catch out new players, which is why I'm doing this video now to um, help you out. Oh, and for the uninitiated, EJ EH hubcaps are the same. EH hubcaps have black around the Holden, EJs have red around the Holden. So, useless trivia you may never need. Oh, and Premiers have white steering wheels, white buttons, white gear knob, and white indicator stalk. Um, and, he, and all the others are grey. And you'll find an EJ standard or EH, maybe not an EH standard, but I know an EJ standard. They don't have any chrome down the sides. They don't have any chrome around the rear window. There's no chrome between the tail lights. Um, you have the bonnet chrome in the eyebrow molds, but that's pretty much it. They're basically de-chromed. Um, so yeah, just a few things to look out for. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll catch you up on the next one.